Check her out. I guess thick brows are well and truly in. Let's talk beauty. Britain's Next Top Model, sponsored by Debenhams Beauty Club. Previously on Britain's Next Top Model. I have a medically diagnosed of depression. Effie left the competition. I can't handle it anymore. Really? Oh, but you left it with the I know. The girls turned on Sophia. I want you to each say who you think had the weakest image. I would just say Sophia, 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 I'd say Sophia. You know, it's hard when people see you as being at the bottom and you want to be at the top. And there was a surprise at elimination. Both of you are safe. The winner of Britain's Next Top Model will receive a contract with leading UK agency Models One. A fashion spread in Cosmopolitan magazine. A brand campaign with Show Beauty and a year's worth of hair services. Must have model gadgets, courtesy of Alcatel. A nationwide campaign with global fashion brand Misguided. A campaign with Cineray Natural Skincare, plus a year's supply of products. A spring beauty campaign with Lola Makeup and a year's supply of products. There you go. Coming up, Louisa and Sophia fall out on set. Sophia, what the f is that? What you always for? And Kelly Brook joins the judging panel. What do you get nervous about? It's I, I find it fascinating. Do you ever look in the mirror? <laughs> Modeling is basically acting, and this week I really want to see the girls use their own personalities to draw out that character or persona a brand wants. Often you need to park what's going on in your head and pretend to be someone you're not. I do it all the time. I really do hope it is Kira Lea. Kira Leah walks through the door. My bestie's back and I'm so happy. Oh, that was horrible. Final seven, done. <laughs> hey! Then Louisa walks through the door. Woo! Yeah. Could not believe my eyes. I literally walked away and was just like, nah, I can't believe this is happening. Shauna and Martha's face looked so pissed off. Shauna, you look really annoyed. <laughs> it's because it's not what I'm expecting. I'm I was expecting you to come back, but I'd rather only one of you came back because I'd rather cut the people down now. Sorry, yeah. guys, you still got us. It's your competition. I think Louisa took it personally when I said that, which I don't care. Of course, this is a competition and I'm here for a competition, but in general, I'm just not overly competitive. Saying you're not overly competitive is like, you can't be bothered to compete. I'll be more competitive now, just like everybody else. Well, she just sort of said that she's not competitive and she doesn't see it's a competition. She, I, what she said is just so stupid. Yeah. Like, I can't even, like, comprehend it. With that reaction, now I'm just like, you know what, I am back with vengeance and I'm going to kick people's asses and do really well and all of them. Come in. I feel a bit guilty that I picked Sophia having the worst photo because a lot of people did and it's not doing anything for her confidence. <laughs> if out of anyone, she's taken it so bloody well. I just feel, like, a bit bad for her because so many people picked her, you know? <laughs> if the girls don't take me seriously in this competition, and that's up to them. I'll just have to creep up behind them and then shock them at the end. Happy mail. Girls, we've got happy mail. Hi girls, a modelling profile isn't the only profile that matters in this industry. Which of you girls would be worth swiping oh, right for? Something to do with swiping right. Tinder? <laughs> <laughs>
That's the only thing you swipe right on. Let's hope the judges swipe right for us. Hell Way. Yeah. I'm so happy to see Farah. She was so nice to me in elimination. I really hope I can impress her again. Today's challenge is all about learning to sell yourselves. Today you'll be taking part in a casting challenge where you'll compete to become the face of a digital marketing campaign for Tinder. <laughs> oh my god, this is going to be awkward. I'm going to be kissing a guy or God knows what. Today you're going to construct your own Tinder profile. I'm not big on social media. I've only just recently got Instagram. My little sister had to show me how to use it and I'm not on Twitter. And then you're going to be judged by a team of experts behind these very doors. On our panel of experts is myself, Farah, internet personality and social influencer Steve Bartlett, and menswear designer and influencer Oliver Proudlock. You're going to be styling yourselves as well. So here are your phones. Of course I want to win, and I most definitely want to prove to the girls that I'm not the weakest contender in this competition. So head over to the self-styling area and let's get started. We were told that we had misguided clothes to run over to and style ourselves. I found this little two-piece thing, which is quite cute. I think we'll go quite nicely, yeah. Let's hope it fits. <laughs> I'd really like to see these models inject their personality into the photos and really tell that other person what they're all about. I think today's challenge is really a challenge about marketing yourself, so I don't want anything ridiculous just to get attention. That's right, and a lot of people consider Tinder to be a social media platform, so they should be approaching this the same way they do their other social media profiles. Right, now I need to go and get some photos sorted because I've completed my luck. We'll do one like, with a friend, mm. but make it about me. I personally obviously study fashion, so for me, that's like the funnest thing ever. And then everyone also asked me to style them. I want to wear those boots, but I can't get them on. <laughs> Can you get them? Thanks, girl. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, they look hot, Kira. I love styling people I do all the time, so of course Sophia was asking me to style her. I need help, I'm having a okay. look. Would you not like that? That was fun, having to style everybody. No. Can you take one photo for me? I'm very happy. Do one more. Can you take a picture of me? Please? Yeah. I just want it like close up, my side profile. Well, there you go. Thank you. Can you get one more? Can you what try and make that? me? I want the whole. You're so shit. Can you try pictures? No. <laughs> Sophia, what the fuck is that? That's what you asked for. By the end of the challenge, my patience was gone. No, I'm not taking pictures again. No, no, right. I didn't like the pictures you took with me. Louisa. You're actually seriously telling me to fuck up. Next thing we know, Sophia and Louisa are shouting at each other, and I was just like, I don't want to be involved in this. Are you actually joking? That's nice. There's no need to, like, take it out on me when I'm the person that you're meant to be closest to in the house. No, don't tell me to fuck off. It's brutal. Like, this challenge is like, have you not got the photos? I'm enjoying this challenge so much, I can't even be bothered. I just wanted to resolve it straight away so I could just focus on, you know, trying to win the challenge. But don't be upset, please, and don't tell me to fuck off again. Oh, I love you. I love you. I love you. Coming up, Hi. the guest judges get Eleanor starstruck. Oh my God, it's Oliver Proudlock. I've got to impress him. And the girls get more than they bargained for on the photo shoot. And he's going to help you to deliver a passionate kiss. I don't want to kiss his minging beard. Let's go. Do I have to kiss now? Let's Talk Beauty, Britain's Next Top Model. Sponsored by Devon. Oh, these started yours with hi, my name is. Yeah. Do we just fly anywhere? It's so annoying. OK, girls, you've got five minutes left. I need to write my thing really quickly. Oh, you go write yours, and I'll get someone else to tell me. And then I want all profiles done. OK, five minutes. I really don't want to do this. You had to talk about yourself and try and sell yourself, and I really struggle with that because I never know how to put myself across. OK, talk to me. Tell me. I don't know what to write. Remember, this is kind of the same as it will be in modelling. It's how do you want to represent. If that's the first thing someone sees about you, what does it say? We have to tell the truth. It has to be, yeah? 
that's up to you. If you're comfortable not telling the truth... Oh, no, in real life, obviously, I would. I was like, I'm not wanting to lie. Is it... Are we being ourselves or basing it on someone else? This probably needs to be true to who you are, because <laughs> if you lie about things, you invariably get caught yeah, out. Yeah, no, I don't lie in general. I just didn't know if we could make someone up. I'm going to leave you now, but good luck. She was just, like, giving me ideas, I suppose, and pointers, but... I'm still a bit confused. I'm so nervous. We've all submitted our profiles and we're just waiting on the judges now to let us know who they've shortlisted and to find out who they want to interview. So, today we're going to look at the pictures and the words that these girls have chosen to present themselves and we've got to decide whether we would book one of these models based on what we're seeing here. Great, OK. OK, let's start with phone one, which is Louisa. These are the pictures. They're quite posy. Born in Singapore and grew up in Dubai, where I immersed myself in dancing, fashion and modelling. I'm not really good at social media. I was a blogger when I was a kid. I was nominated for two awards as well. I was the beauty ambassador for YSL Makeup. Louisa did mention that this would play to her strengths because of her background. And I was an ambassador for Blackberry and I was nominated for the best style blogger in the Middle East two years running. But so does everything else appear to play to her strengths because she has done everything. So like this for you, that was obviously like right up the street. Yeah, um, I, I just don't get a feeling of her personality much coming through. Mm. Or her style. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, I wouldn't see this person. No. Like so the next one is Sophia. Yeah. I think she has potential. I, I think, think so, for scary. sure. This is Eleanor. I quite like the fact that she's bought someone else in mm -hmm. there. I work at the zoo just in the cafe, not a lion tamer, unfortunately. Yeah. I think that's really cute. I love the zoo line. Shauna. Very serious. Yeah. Quite a cold picture. Oh, there's a big disconnect there, so I'm going to have to swipe left on this one. The name's Ivy, your typical English rose with a grungy twist. She yeah. absolutely smashed yeah. that. Nailed it. OK, let's move on to Kira, then. I, I mean, she's her. very pretty. She's a beautiful girl. Yeah, yeah. So, it's connecting, for sure. For sure. Mm. Here, Aaliyah is next. She's talking about the partying again at the end. Not the best thing to add in. This is Martha. She's naturally a shy young right. woman. Well, this is a first. Is, is this actually... her panicking and thinking, oh, I've got to be someone that I'm not? This is what worries me. Oh, the suspense is killing good. me. So we're all just chilling out on the sofa, and there pops my name up on the screen. I've been liked! Oh. Oh. Good luck, babe. Good luck. Hi. Oh my God, it's Oliver Proudlock. I've got to impress him. You were the only person I think to take a photo with someone else. So why did you decide to do that? Well, I decided to do it so it shows I'm a social person. Yeah, I quite liked it and it showed that it's not all about you. So both the use of the emoji and incorporating another girl into your picture is a risky move, actually. Are you a risky person? I think I'm a bit of a risky person. I wanted to stand out. I'm not here to sort of blend in. You only got one shot of this, why not stand out? Love it. Love that. Good proud look so nice. He was like rooting for me. I was like. That was definitely the real her in her bio and the photos. This is so tense. So I'm gonna be sick. I just said I want it to be cold. Wish me luck. I really, really enjoyed doing the challenge, so when the panel asked to see me, I was so excited. What was the idea that you had? Um, I wanted to take photos that showed, like, different sides to me, as opposed to, like, just me in a dress, like, partying the whole time. Do you understand that the word partying could be a red flag for yeah. somebody that wants to book a model? Because my first instinct is, is this person going to come in hungover? Right, OK. It made me realise how, like, things I should be a little bit more careful on and like maybe tweak a few things, maybe not say when I'm not out party, maybe just say when I'm not out having fun. She definitely has the look we're going for. Well, she's, she's a very a... commercial model. Yeah, she is. Yeah. Yeah. I was still hoping for my name to pop up on the screen. Oh! Oh, my God. oh, oh and I'm Ivy. Woo! Hi. Uh, Hi, Ivy. Done? Did you find this easy then? I took five minutes on the pictures and spent the rest of the time sat by myself trying to write mm. out properly. I actually think you had probably, as a collection, the best set of photos, so I'm surprised you only spent five minutes um, doing them. And I also think you probably had one of the best bios that we saw, so I could tell you'd put time into that. It was a really good profile, really good profile. Thank well you done. very much. It was all positive, so I'm quite happy. Oh, good. Thoughts? She nailed the bio and she nailed the photos, so I, I mean, I just loved her. Dun, dun, dun. 
Which was harder, writing the biography or actually taking the pictures? A bit of both. I'm not a massive selfie taker. And my biography, I kind of feel like it felt a bit dated when I was writing it. <laughs> I was just honest about me. <laughs> I thought they were great. I thought the photos were great. There was a nice spread. They really liked That's my bio. Good. They That's thought nice. I came through as me. Yeah. Mm. Nice. She mm. thought just as an authentic in person. I would want to do business with her. I feel like she's trustworthy, she's polished, she's professional. And I also thought her bio was great. <laughs> Thanks for coming. What does that mean, though? Half the girls haven't even been liked. This is going to be so awkward. I wasn't surprised when I didn't say my name. I would have been surprised if I did. <laughs> OK, so who's going to super like her? Is that, do you want to do the honours? Absolutely. <laughs> it pops up on the screen that Sophia's been super liked. Yay. I actually loved your profile. I thought it was spot on. The photos you chose were diverse and the bio was great too. So we think you're perfect and we'd love to work with you. In my head, I'm thinking, right, okay, are they still deliberating? Are they just, you know, basically saying that this could, like, there's something else or what? And then they're like, no, 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 you've won the challenge. And I'm like, what? Oh my god, you're joking. <laughs> I wasn't sure what super liked meant. I was thinking, is this super saying? like is good? Means exactly what it sounds like. Super ah! like. <laughs> so I won the challenge. Yes, you did. Oh my yes. god. <laughs> <laughs> well, the good news is you also get immunity, as you probably know. I'm the winner. <laughs> I want the girls to know that I'm, like, on point now. Like, I'm on my A-game. There's no way I'm going to let it slip. Oh. Hi, girls. It's time to apply the lip gloss and pucker up. Who is going to crack under pressure and who is going to score? It says something about puckering up. <laughs> we all know that means kissing. Hi girls. So today you're going to be shooting for this handbag hero, the little yellow lip balm brand Carmex. On set today you're going to be joined by Dave Taus and he's going to help you fulfil today's brief which is to deliver a passionate kiss. <laughs> Oh my god, we're gonna be kissing this guy in front of us on the lips. Not my type. <laughs> You're also going to be shot by Catherine Harbour, who has shot for Marie Claire, Grazia, and Cosmopolitan. So, girls, hook her up and let's go. Woo! <laughs> One question Who hasn't brushed their teeth this morning, you mingers? I was like, what a kiss is minging beard. Like, you know, there's like so many germs in a beard. She's got like, oh, is that my boyfriend? He's got tattoos. This is weird. It literally looks like a puppy of my dad. Let's get this show on the road. Coming up, Kira Leah struggles to enjoy her kissing challenge. I feel like a dirty cheat. Nice. Whilst Louisa enjoys it a bit too much. Nice. There's probably a bit too much kissing going on there. I feel like you need to get a room. That was awkward. Let's Talk Beauty, Britain's next top model. Sponsored by Debenhams Beauty Club. A bit apprehensive because I haven't really I, I don't kiss anybody else bar yeah <laughs> bar my boyfriend. <laughs> so obviously the brief is all about a passionate kiss because Carmex makes your lips kissable. Uh, so let's see how many of the girls actually deliver a kiss. If they tilt their head and I just get the top of their head and they're like burying a guy in their <laughs> face, then it's not going to be great for the brand. So they need to be yeah. body aware. And I don't want a tongue situation <laughs> it's gotta it's gotta look cool yeah not slutty yeah. <laughs> i've never kissed anyone else but my boyfriend in six years so i'm not feeling great about this it's just gonna be awkward like standing there like i might get lip cramp I feel like... 
Hello. Hey. Hey. Hi, uh, I'm Shona. I get upstairs and he's sitting there on the motorbike. Oh my God, this is real. So, you know, the brief is a passionate kiss. Not every shot has to be a kiss, but we would like one in there. Have fun. Nice body shape. We didn't get that kiss. No. Perfect. Just when you, you're moving, you're holding quite a lot of tension in your neck. You can see it's... Yeah. She did have to remind me not to elongate my neck too much. Bit. Perfect. That's much better. You've taken all the strain out. Just be careful on the kiss. I am. Because, I, because I don't know anyone that's ever kissed like that. Is your leg or your lip? Whoa, Lord, it. All right. I found that I was doing this a lot. They were like telling me to bring my neck down, so I was doing that. Got quite a bit of direction, which was which was good in a way. The only thing for me is that her face is either like that or like that. And I'm not saying that she takes a bad photo mm. in either of those directions, but there's nothing that's ever consistently straight on. Let's go. Do I have to kiss now? You can <laughs> do whatever you want. Okay, we just need a little bit more interaction between okay. the two of you. There isn't quite the intimacy. Are you uncomfortable? No. 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 With, I mean, with, with, with a kiss, like, are you uncomfortable no. with that? Okay. Do you want to try that and see? Yeah. Go for it. Thank you. Hello. I don't think you went well. I just didn't feel that I had enough variety from her and it was constant work to be able to get her to move from one position to the other. Yeah. I'm here to be moved around. Yeah. She didn't necessarily take full advantage of that. Yeah. Do anything that, that puts you in a more intimate setting? I thought the worst bit would just be the kissing bit, but you have to make sure you're in the right angle. They yeah, can't see you. See, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see your face you're gone! Your <laughs> you're um, facing the camera. Remembering to see the face. So tilt your forehead towards me a bit more rather than... Yeah. You keep changing your, your positions up. You just got the back of your head to my camera. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just all too much. Watch yourself. Fill your head again. <laughs> We're losing all of you. Fab, thank you. Hi. How's it going? Like, you have to keep moving, don't yeah. you? It's a bit awkward, isn't it? Mm. A little bit. Martha, she's largely got one face or what yeah she didn't seem present or yeah. responsive enough to direction yeah but I, yeah yeah not not quite all there so you've got dave oh, right. okay right nice right. to meet you and it was a little awkward so let's go and you know give him a nice handshake and jump on the motorbike <laughs> oh. i was trying to like not kiss him we need a full passionate kiss so, boyfriend, I am extremely sorry, and I didn't want to do it, but I had to. Yeah, she went for it. <laughs> well done. I feel like a dirty G. I actually do. I think she's been my favourite so far because I think that the emotion was there. She fits the Carvex brand image very well as well. Hello. Hi. I'm ready to get stuck in and do this. Could you count me in? One, yeah. two, three, three, three. Nice. What about if you try leaning in, into him, maybe over the handlebars for a kiss? I'm not sure this guy's into it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's really cool with the shape. Well done. Honestly, if, I, if a ground could swallow me up right now, I want to die. <laughs> You've got lips. <laughs> yeah, everywhere. I think it was nice that she actually came to set with some ideas. I'd much rather yeah. do that shoot again than some of the shoots that we've had earlier today. 100%. Which have been boring in comparison. Yeah. Have fun. Maybe we'll do, like... Interesting. Take a deep breath. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I was so nervous to kiss the model. I kept apologising. It's better. Oh, wait, no, wrong side, sorry. It's good. Make sure we get, like, a good variety of pictures, I feel like. Calm down. You okay. your, your nail it. Just chill out. Oh. Sorry. You don't, don't apologise. Can't see your face there. It doesn't help that you've got the cap yeah. on. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. it's cool. It's all I've heard. All oh, apologising. It's all I've heard. I feel bad because I'm trying to like make it look natural. Sorry. <laughs> Stop apologising. <laughs> Thank Sorry. you. That's all right. It's all in. Sorry. Did you like? Yeah, I kissed him quite. I felt like I was kissing him the whole time. So she certainly gave you a kiss. Yeah. <laughs> and then just constant apology for herself being here. Yeah, there was quite a few sorries. I'm indifferent with the, the shoot, to be honest with you, because I think that she came in and she was like a bottle of pop ready to explode. Once she's contained, she can deliver. I want to definitely do well in this photo shoot because I don't want to be the bottom two again. So I am going to kiss him straight away. Nice. That's nice. Nice. OK, change it up a bit. There's probably a bit too much kissing going on there. <laughs> but the, uh, I, I feel like you need to get a room! <laughs> that was awkward, the fact that I was kissing too much. I was standing there at one minute and thought, no, I've... I've uh, yep. Yeah. I've witnessed this kissing for a little bit too long. <laughs> it was a bit more than was really necessary. Some of the shots, I think that they're really strong. Yeah. And in others, really not. Really not. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Cute. That's nice with the the bottom. Curl. Yeah. <laughs> Some really lovely shots. Cute. Yeah. Lovely. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> oh, God. Where did that go? Um, I don't think it went badly, but... It yeah. did go great. Yeah, I haven't come out of there that <laughs> No. I enjoyed that photo shoot. Mm. Every shot that she was coming out with, I kept thinking, oh, yes, that, that, that's... No. OK, that's it. No, that, that's it. <laughs> I think she did pretty well, because there wasn't actually a single point where we actually kissed. Yeah, but it was pretty close. You've got lipstick on your nose. <laughs> <laughs> Martha, the top stopped working. Really? Yeah. We're no longer able to use the bathroom, so we're going to have to move rooms and move downstairs in the room with Louisa and Sophia. Hello. Hiya. Hello. Right, well, we were just sorting out our room. I was about to clean the sink and our tap seemed working. Um, so it's probably best if we evacuate the room. We've got to move in your room. It That's fine. Work. I hate mess as well. We're both really clean. So you've got to be a bit tired. Yeah. Look, we're all, we're, all, we're all gonna be we're all gonna be in this together. Are you so joking? Just... Good luck to me. You're worse than me. She leaves her clothes all over the floor. Really don't need this. We're not exactly best mates. So for this to happen, it's probably just a cherry on top. Would it be alright if like you tidied some of your areas? Is there any mess in there? No. And there's thousands of water bottles that don't put myself up for my elimination. Fuck you. Um quick. Why are they in my room looking at my stuff? Oh, Martha, I'm not living in a fucking ship here, so I will clean it. The only mess that I have is the clothes on top of my suitcase. What the fuck? So we no longer the rulers of the roost. Tell some things. Do you think I was out of order by saying what I no, said? No, and I've got big I... stuff because it's like fucking clean up, you scrubby fucking scrubs. If if they don't stay um, tidy in that, I'm just gonna fucking evict myself and keep <laughs> in the fucking living room. If Louisa goes, it'll make my life a bit easier, 
and my bedroom happier. Hi girls, this week you've been playing the part of a top model, but who will be kissing their dreams goodbye at tomorrow's elimination? Let's <laughs> go packing. One of us will be going, or maybe two of us. Don't think it will be two, we can't do that again. Oh, I hope yeah. two people go, I'm immune. I'm joking. <laughs> It's elimination time again. This week was all about learning how to act whilst modelling. As models, you'll be booked on jobs where you're pushed way out of your comfort zone. But you need to adapt, get into character, and play your role with personality and conviction. This week, two of you will be leaving the competition. Here to help me make the tough decision is my dynamic duo, Nikki Johnston and Max Rogers. And our guest judge this week is no stranger to being photographed. It's the beautiful actress, TV presenter and model, Kelly Brook. I've been in the industry for over 20 years. I know what it takes to have a long-lasting career. First impressions are everything, and it's really important that in that short window that I meet with girls today that, that I really get a sense of their personality because that is what I'm going to connect with. First up, Sophia. So you were the brand's favourite and you won the Tinder challenge. What do you think? <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How did you find the photograph? I think in the back of my mind I was a bit like, ooh, hope it comes across natural, I don't know. Should we take a look? Okay. I think this is the best work you've done for us. I can read your intent, I really like it, you look great, good job. It's not very flattering for him because you're kind of squishing his face a little bit too much. I would imagine the brand probably aren't going to be super happy with the fact that they can't see their product. You've had a really good week this week, Sophia. Well done. I'll keep it up. Coming up, pressure in the house reaches boiling point. I'm sorry that I'm crying about it. I'm allowed to cry about it. You're sitting there crying about this, about that. If you're not happy about things right now, we need to change it. And Nikki is left unimpressed. It's like you're saying, how dare you sit me next to this gorgeous model? I'll take your place, love if you don't want to be there. Let's to Ebenham's Beauty Club. Next up is Kira Lea. Yeah. Should we take a look at your picture? Yeah. I think I like it. Kelly, what do you think of this? You've got beautiful full lips and you really get to see them in this picture. I believe that and I think you really show the product off beautifully. Thank you. You were one of the brand's favourites. They thought you were amazing and I absolutely love this image. Thank you. The next scale up is Martha. Nikki? If that's your idea of chemistry, then thank God I will never be your boyfriend, babe. Because it's the most awkward picture I have ever seen. Did you have no chemistry with the male model? I found it a little bit awkward at times, because he's just, like, not really there. Your job as an actress will always be to impact the person you're acting with. So impact him. If he's got nothing, that's because you're not getting through to him. Kira. Hat. Nikki. Love it! <laughs> <laughs> it's steamy, passionate, completely nails the brief. Absolutely love it. One of my favourites. I'm so happy. Yeah. Ivy. This is fabulous. I'm so happy for you. How are you feeling? I'm so happy. I thought I just need to think of a way that I can show what I can do without getting so nervous. What do you get nervous about? It's, I, I find it fascinating. What? Do you ever look in the mirror? It drives us crazy because we have this ice queen goddess walking into the room and she's sometimes like a quivering wreck and we're like, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> You've had an incredible week, so keep it up. Thanks. Next up, Shauna. How was the challenge? Didn't go as well as I thought it did. Don't think I sold myself enough. Well, in the challenge, they said you didn't come across very warm, which really surprises me. OK. Should we take a look at your image? <sighs> There's hardly any chemistry for me. 
My thing with you, Shauna, is that because you don't necessarily meet sample sizes, you're going to be aiming for a very specific, much smaller pool of work. But because it's a smaller pool, you need to be by far the most bookable person in the room. Up next, Eleanor. Hello. How did you find the photo shoot? I was practicing, I had so many ideas. But then I came on and I was like, <laughs> it's a boy. It's a real boy. It's a real boy. Mm. I really wanted him to like me and I was like, Speak. So I had, to, I had to work a bit harder. Should you have a look at your image? Oh, God. To me, you look like you're a bit drunk and you fell on top of him <laughs> in, a, in a booth in a bar and you've got, come here. <laughs> I think it's the most believable kiss that I've seen yes. all day. Today, really? You've got infectious energy. I've never not seen that today. Today, you look like you've lit up the room, but this looks like you've fallen asleep on his face. Oh. <laughs> I well love done. it. I think it's you can't fun. please everyone. Thank you very much. And lastly, Louisa. So tell us about your week. The beginning of this week wasn't the best for me because I was fighting some demons in my own head. My acne has got the worst it's been in two years. That knocked my confidence. Fortunately, in this situation, there's no evidence of it in the picture, so we don't have to worry about it. We can judge you purely on your performance. <laughs> what do you think? I did a lot of kissing, so I'm surprised that... Too much kissing, according to the brand. I look angry. Oh. It's like you're saying, how dare you sit me next to this gorgeous model? <laughs> it's like the last place you ever want to be on this planet is with that gorgeous man on a motorbike. I'll take your place, love him, you don't want to be there. Kelly, obviously brands are not going to listen to a sob story. They're just going to want to pick the best girl, yeah, the best girl for the job. You need to kind of be more professional in that, you know. We don't want to hear excuses, do we, really? Tough week. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Louisa. Thanks. OK, girls, it's time for the judges to deliberate. And when you come back into the room, I'll be telling you which two of you will be leaving today. I'm trying to tell you that you didn't come for in the picture at all. But they said you looked so... I know so... I didn't, but please, just let me cry, Sophia, please. I mean, we're all feeling the pressure. And Louise is sitting there crying in the middle of the room. It's just making things so much worse. You can't be a model with bad skin. You can't walk into an agency. They didn't even bring it up. They couldn't see okay, it. Hey, they didn't bring it up. Cool. And I'm allowed to have my own fucking insecurities and cry about it. I'm not doing it for attention or sympathy. It's just the truth, okay? It's painful. It hurts. I can't do anything about it. I'm sorry that I'm crying about it. I'm allowed to cry about it. Louisa, I think you need to take some time out. I'm allowed to cry. Well, yeah, I'm not saying you're not. I'm not saying you're not. But you're saying you can't look in the mirror. Everywhere we go in is mirrors. Modeling industry is mirrors. I don't think this is right for you at the moment. Oh my god, Shauna, are you seriously taking the fucking piss? No, I'm not. I don't understand why you would say that to me. Because you're just... sitting there crying about your skin, about this, about that. I'm really trying to tell you if you're not happy about things right now, we need to change it. We've got to lose two girls this week. So, guys, I think we should start with someone who's definitely safe, and that's Sophia. She's got immunity for winning the Tinder challenge. That's pretty good and probably her best work so far. I think for this, she's just yeah. gone with it. Yeah. And I'm convinced by it, and I think she's done a good job. So, the next girl is Kira Lea. She was bottom two last week, let's not forget, so this represents a massive improvement. Martha. I can see it competing with some of the best high fashion models. I get where she's going with it, but I'm not convinced that she's she's nailed it. Kira. I think she's beautiful. I love her profile. He's actually looking at her lips, which was fantastic, because yeah. it's great for the product. Up next, Ivy. Wow. She looks like an oil painting. That picture is absolutely phenomenal. Next up, Shauna. Something's gone wrong. You all so negative about this picture. I actually quite like it. Whilst it's a good shot, it doesn't win the day. I think some of the other girls are progressing ahead of her. Eleanor. <laughs> Drunken snog. You like this? It's I rubbish. I really like it. We love it. The, the brief was a passionate kiss. This is a passionate, believable, hot kiss. <laughs> Look, he's sweating his Exactly. <laughs> Well, clearly, this image divides everyone. Well, I just know she's not going home. Well, I'd fight for her to stay as well. Thanks, Kel. Yeah. Louisa. 
I don't love the shot, but it's nothing to do with her skin. And I really feel for her, and I think she's had some fantastic shots throughout the competition. If I'm basing this purely on this image, she has took a decline. The thing is, if she had stood in front of us with, like, a lot of confidence and not mentioned all the problems that she was having, I wonder if we'd be looking at this differently. Mm. Yeah, I wonder. True. Sort of exposed a weakness. Yeah, it's yeah. like they kind of, like, create their own fate, in a way. And they have to believe that they're Britain's next top model. That's she doesn't point. believe she is. Two girls have got to go, and I think I've got to base our decision on their whole body of work throughout the competition. And let's go from there. I have eight beautiful girls standing in front of me and two portfolios in my hand. These portfolios belong to the girls who are no longer in the running to become a Britain's Next Top Model. The first girl safe and came out on top this week is... Ivy. Well done. Also safe is challenge winner, so therefore has immunity, is Sophia. Thank you so much. Well done. Kira Leah. Thank you. Kira. Well done. Still in the running to become a Britain's Next Top Model is... Eleanor. Thank you so much. OK. Will the final three girls please step forward? Only one of you is safe and still in the running to become Britain's next top model. If I call out your name, you must pack up your things and leave the model house immediately. The first girl going home is... Shauna. Thank you very much. I'm going to take this experience into consideration <clears throat> in everything I do. So thank you very much. The second girl leaving us today is... Louisa. Well done. Well done. Oh, I know I don't express it as much as the others, but... Living in that environment with that many girls and that much pressure and that much competition really got to me. That's why I wasn't up to par. I hope this can prove to myself that I can still be a model. And I still want to. I actually really, truly believe that nobody in there wanted it as much as me. I feel really privileged to have been a part of Britain's Next Top Model because I used to watch the show when I was a little girl with my mum and I, I never thought I'd be on the show because it was too short. <laughs> But I came on you and I've done really well and my mum would be so proud of me and I'm just so glad that I can say I've done this. Next time on Britain's Next Top Model. The Pussycat Dolls' Kimberly Wyatt sets the girls a challenge. You'll be presenting your very own workout video for Fitbit. The girls get a shock at the photo shoot. Oh, I feel sick. And Abby has some important news. <laughs> but there is a twist. <laughs>